This fire caused a huge loss for boat owners and a traumatic warning for many at the marina. But from an environmental perspective, the impacts could have been far worse. You can see in this video the size and scope of the damage across Lake Union caused by a fire that put all who protect this water on alert. Fires on boats are a big deal and have been since wooden boats. In 2019, another boat fire on Lake Union caused a smaller amount of damage, but both disasters surfaced crucial questions. What foam would be used to fight it? Would oil spill into the water and would debris leak more contaminants into the lake? The smoke and the debris falling into the water and the impacts that might have and then on top of that, you think about the firefighting response in itself. Fortunately, the State Department of Ecology says Lake Union dodged further pollution this time. And the Seattle Fire Department says in both cases, firefighters deployed a modern, safer form of foam to fight the fire. I trust the fire department is using the safest stuff they can buy. But having said that, there's, you know, there's lots of history of commercial products with undisclosed ingredients later causing problems in the environment. So yeah, it's, that's, that, that's what's on my mind. UW Tacoma professor and Center for Urban Waters director Joel Baker says over time, containment systems for fires have improved to prevent polluted water from spreading. And so have regulations for loading and storing fuel and responding to potential spills. King County is not intervening in this incident, but it does have an ongoing water quality monitoring program that includes Lake Union.